So on your screens, you're seeing the launch of the heaviest communication satellite ever from Indian soil. Joining us live from Sri Harikota is India Today's Pramod Madhav. Pramod, this is a big achievement for India and already we are seeing congratulatory tweets uploading on the internet. So do tell us, why is this crucial and important for ISRO? Well, it surely is not just for ISRO, it's also very crucial for the Indian Navy because it is one of the communication satellites, the heaviest one so far uplifted by an ISRO rocket and that is also the launch vehicle Mark III or the LVM3. Behind us, you could see right now what is happening on one side. You have the appreciation and we are inside the media center awaiting for now for the other ISRO officials and uh, the actual time for the mission is almost 16 minutes so far and close to 180 kilometers altitude the rocket needs to be launched and for which the LVM3 is using three stages. The first one it's a solid stage, the second one, the liquid, and the third one, the most important cryogenic stage, and that's what you're seeing on the frame. That is also the chairman, Narayanan, and everybody over there. And right now, so far, the mission has been quite uh, like, you know, as expected is going on. But later, right now, what happens is that anytime soon, the Vikas engine will have to like initiate and post which this particular rocket, CMS, the uh, satellite CMS-3, will be ejected into its trajectory, post which it will start going around, and it will actually provide the crucial data. It is completely packed with all kinds of bands that is required for communications and one thing is that even though we claim that this to be a communication satellite the most important communication it's going to do is kind of communication between the ship the submarine and the command center and this is why it's a triangulated communication that is why this rocket is very much necessary and you can see all like most of the navy top brass are also present over here that is why it is an essential launch for isro and not just that this is the same lvm3 rocket that actually went ahead and did the launch for chandrayaan 3 and this is going to be the test bed for all the future gaganyaan rockets as well in fact we also saw a model which also carried a pod the ejection system and such and that is why this lvm3 is becoming the next big heavy lifting horse of the you know uh, workhorse of Israel and with every launch it is proving it that's what we're seeing over here also absolutely difference. Pramod and we are keeping our eyes on it thank you very much for bringing us all those latest details of the launch